The Sunday Star Tribune had a lengthy section yesterday. It spanned 11 pages. It wasn't news or charts or graphs or letters to the editor that took up that space. It was the obituary section. The opinion editor of the paper said in his nearly 29 years on staff, he had never seen that many pages memorializing lives lost at one time. The lives they lived filled the pages. The lives they loved named one by one. They were mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, spouses. They were veterans and doctors and volunteers. They were our neighbors, our friends. No, not every single person memorialized fell victim to a virus now responsible for so much loss. Some died from natural causes or cancer. Some died for reasons we as readers aren't entitled to know. But the virus is to blame for taking Anne and Luella, Sealand and Bruce and Lorraine. Kenneth, too. He passed away from COVID-19. Walter was a math professor for 50 years at the U. He was retired and died from COVID-19. Doc Mandel's loved ones said he was a kind, gentle, humble, and dapper gentleman. COVID took his life, but it could not take any of those ways he lived his life. David battled cancer for 11 years, only to be taken by COVID-19. Scott made his journey home on April 25th due to the COVID-19 virus. And Hank Zach, he was a Holocaust survivor, a survivor who died from complications from COVID. Almost every memorial ended in one of COVID's most cruel consequences, that these lives cannot be honored and celebrated with a gathering of the people who loved them, not right now. We cannot mourn as a collective so as to keep at bay the virus that so rudely robbed us of the lives we wish to come together to honor. In the midst of this loss, we are collectively alone. And in loss, or in times of feeling alone, our human condition begs of us to comfort and reassure each other. I pray we find a way to do so, because these lives did more than fill the pages. They fulfilled the most essential requirement of humanity. They lived. Our sincere sorrow for all of you who lost someone. Good night.